Hey, Paul here for Retro Gaming Arts, and today we're going to be building a whole bunch of the PC Engine Turbo Graphics RGB amp. Now, this is going to be very heavily focused on the assembly of all of these chips. So we're going to start by taking all of the components out since we have the components in the board. So here are the components and we're dumping them all into their individual bowls. So each bowl is going to get labeled with what component is inside and then we're going to do that for every single component that's going to go on the board. This is to make life easy and as easy as possible because this task is about to take a long time. So if we have all of our tools in front of us necessary, that's going to make our lives a lot easier. So here they are, all the components in the bowls, all labeled with what's exactly in there, and now we can start assembling. So we have one stencil and a whole bunch of chips. So we just apply a little bit of solder paste, which is just so tiny, tiny, tiny little solder balls mixed in with a lot of flux. So you put one in, and then you have your paste on your card, and you just swipe and apply all the solder paste. After a while, after doing this, not all of them come out absolutely perfect, but for the most part, some of these just come out beautifully. And this, the stencil allows the solder paste to only go over where the components are gonna go. So that way you can add the component in later on. And if the solder paste is sticky, so it sticks there in place. And as you see, like that didn't evenly get smoothed out. So now that we have solder paste on, now we're going to add all of the different components. So we have, like I said, you got them all in bowls, all labeled. You pull a couple out, however many you're applying to your board. You pop, in, you pop them in on your board. Tweezers are your best friend throughout this entire process. We had, it was a bunch of pairs of tweezers. They were, if, without the tweezers, uh, this would have been, I don't even understand. You can't even do it. So here you have got a bunch of boards lined up, just doing one, the same component all the way down on each. And then you would do half the half the board, and then you pass the rest down. And then as you as you finish it up, and then you pass it down, that's when the rest of the components get done by Noah. So he's adding the rest, the second half of the components that I didn't add on the right side. So he's doing the left side, I'm doing the right side, and we're picking from different areas because we're using different components. And then after. All, after the board has been solder pasted, all the components go on, it then gets slid down and passed down to Nick, where Nick is gonna take the board and pop it in the oven. And then we got a little heat sensor, but, so he's gonna pop it in this oven, but this isn't just your regular toaster oven. It's got a digital programmable display. And then in order to power that, you needed to add a separate power relay that's much more powerful with a heat sink because of how powerful that is and then uh, connecting to the digital display is actually a temperature sensor which is drilled into the back so you know exactly how hot it is in there at all times and you can monitor it very closely and, and program it and et cetera, et cetera. So after all the components are then passed down to Nick, that's where they get placed in the oven and this is really cool, where all the components just slide into place. This was probably, I don't know, this is just really cool to watch, zooming in so much at it and like watching those little components just like zip on over. Here, let's check it out in slow-mo. The only thing cooler than this is the surprise, or the question I have later on in the video where I'm gonna ask you guys what you think about something and if you wanna see another type of video like this. But just look at these capacitors go back and forth. Just like wiggle they just like wiggle into place so cool so that's it that's the process however this process goes all day long as you see it's nice bright and sunny outside so we continue this process all the way into nighttime because now it's nighttime because of editing so it's now nighttime so that's this is pretty much what we were doing but in kind of uh, real time instead of fast forward I'm adding all the components to one side. I slide them down to Noah. He adds all the components to the other side. Noah finishes the components, slides them on down to Nick. Nick does like a quick little finishing touch, lining them up perfectly, pops them in the oven, and then as they come out, if any of them pop out of place because of unevenly applied solder paste, uh, he can actually pop them right back into place while they're still in the oven. And then, 
he passes them down and later on we are going to uh, inspect all of them and then we're going to test each chip. So that was kind of the assembly line aspect of this was just us three and honestly I don't know what I would do without you guys. Thank you Nick, thank you Noah for being there with me in this assembly line and getting all these done. I don't, I wouldn't, this would have taken me months so and we did it in a day so thank you guys. And after they're all done, they've all been baked. Here I'm going through and I'm manually inspecting each one with my cell phone's camera zoomed in eight times because that's the max. So I can really, really see accurately what's going on with each chip. And if there's any discrepancies with the chip, just hit it with an iron real quick and fix it up. So this process gets repeated for every single chip. And we're doing this simultaneously so we can get it all done quicker. Like here, we have a bridge. And that's because there was a little bit too much solder paste added, but it's no big deal. It's not, it doesn't really bother me because I don't mind hitting it with an iron afterwards. So we're going to hit it with the iron, get, we're going to remove that bridge right there. And while I'm doing this, uh, Nick's also doing it at the exact same time. And then we're going to test all of these, but that's in another video. Speaking of another video, this is the cool question slash surprise I had for you guys. Would you like to see this exact same video, but with these components? Would you like to see a video about building this entire complete in box test cartridge? If so, let me know in the comments and I'll make a video about that. I'm super excited about that. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.